New at six, a cannabis chemical is making headlines across the country. Signs for Delta 8 have started to appear in the last several years. Alex Hales explains what exactly it is and why some Virginians are paying close attention. An array of treats inside this Phoebus storefront. Come on in. Awesome. Might make you feel like a kid in a candy shop. Only these aren't meant for kids. Family and I have a passion for cannabis. If the name Happy Hempo didn't give it away, Danny Edwards sells hemp products in Hampton. But it's one specific product on her shelves that has people curious. Delta 8, it's not regulated right now. There was a lot of confusion by consumers as to what is Delta 8. So what's the deal with Delta 8 and why should you care? To start, it's not exactly marijuana. The cannabis sativa plant can produce both marijuana and hemp. Marijuana has at least a 0.3% level of the chemical Delta 9 THC. Anything below that is hemp. Delta 9 THC is the main psychoactive ingredient that we think about that people say, oh, well, that's going to get me high. So what exactly then is Delta-8? It's a different but related chemical found in the cannabis sativa plant. Psychoactive properties that are the same as or similar to Delta-9 THC. So what's leading researchers like Dr. Michelle Peace at Virginia Commonwealth University to raise concern? First is the way it can be artificially manufactured. That's not it, huh? There are industry professionals that don't care. Synthesized using very strong acids. It is cleaned up using very volatile, oftentimes dangerous solvents. Since Delta 8 is not technically marijuana, it's legal to buy, even though marijuana sales are illegal in Virginia until 2024. Delta 8 products are not approved by the Food and Drug Administration either. The FDA received more than 100 reports of adverse reactions to them in a 15 month window. In her research lab in Richmond, Dr. Peace discovered some products sold in Virginia are not what they claim to be. When we analyzed this uh, honey stick product, we discovered that it had more than 600 milligrams of Delta-8 THC, and it was labeled 45 milligrams of Delta-8. That's more than eight times the amount of Delta-8 it was supposed to have. That's problematic for consumers not knowing how much they're ingesting or business owners trying to navigate and sell safe products. A lot of companies that are making it, they don't have lab reports. How can you tell if a product is safe or unsafe? That's another issue. Lab reports can go a long way, but are not an exact science either. And I've scanned a QR code and it comes up as some website, but no COA report. Whether you're a seller or a skeptic, the common ground is better regulation to keep Virginians safe. Unfortunately, each state is still left trying to figure it out for themselves. It needs to be verified and validated by a third party independent. In Hampton, I'm Alex Little-Hales for 13 News Now. Governor Glenn Youngkin attempted to stop Delta 8 sales in Virginia through legislative amendments this year. Lawmakers did not approve them.